Oh, Garden Vibes, guess who's back? It's your favorite girl, Chrissy T. And I am here today to pop some russet potatoes in the ground. And I think I'm going to put some fingerling potatoes in the ground. And, well, in raised beds anyway, because that's what I'm doing right now. And then I have some Swiss chard, some peppers, and some kale that I'm going to pop into a couple of raised beds and in the ground as well. So, uh, welcome back and let's get to it. I won't hold you any longer. Okay, you guys. I have to show you really quick. This is where I am going to be planting the onions and the Swiss chard. I know these look crazy. They've been in my greenhouse. And I was so happy that my son was home that I didn't get them watered. <laughs> so, I'm going to be putting these... Probably in this area here along maybe maybe this whole area because it's a lot of onions and a lot of Swiss chard and I don't really want to overcrowd it so I don't know what I did with my tripod so what I'm gonna do is set you up the best way I can and hopefully you can see everything that I'm doing <laughs> yeah I have really rigged this camera up this is <laughs> this is hilarious if only you knew Okay, let's get started. You guys are kind of far away. Let's see if I can scoot you closer. That's pretty close. Right now I am just making a little trellis, not a trellis, making a little dugout here for some onions to go in. And then I'll make a row for some Swiss chard. Another row for onions. Maybe I'll do switch it up a little bit and do a few onions, then a Swiss chard. I don't know yet. We'll see. And take this container here. What I like to do is stick my fingers in between the plants and touch the soil like this. Flip it upside down on my hand. Squeeze the bottom here so that I can pull this off like so. Bam! And you see this bottom is full of roots. Beautiful, beautiful onion roots. So what I'll do is kind of break this up a little bit. And then my favorite thing to do is you can kind of see how they planted this along a line here. There's a little gap here. So what I'll do is stick my finger in there get you good and close and then I'll just tear the soil you see that little gap here that's what I'm tearing it along it's just that little gap there and here we have it we have a set of one two three four five there's about five right here so I'll break these up individually and pop them in the soil you'll see them sticking up at the back of the camera at the that's gonna be at the back of the bed here so just take one and kind of peel it away from the rest of them I normally don't do this with gloves on um, see that now this is what I have some nice roots a little bit of soil and my onion right now I'm just gonna lay it there until I get everything separated I like to kind of lay everything out and then go from there so give your girl a second Okay. 
sometimes you need to be extra gentle the mosquitoes are out um, sometimes you need to be extra gentle because the onions are really close together Guys, I've been gardening so long, I've noticed that I'm normally a by the book type of person. <laughs> I'm a by the book type of girl, and I like to go by, oh, per square foot, you should put 16 onions, or you need to plant these onions um, one foot apart or 18 inches apart. Um, but I've noticed in planting, you can fit a lot more in those spaces. So I am gonna wing it this year. I've never done that before. But I'm going to, first of all, I've been growing for a lot of years. I just started filming and I feel like I know a lot more than I allow myself to think. So when it comes to gardening, what I'm going to do is what I feel in my heart. If I feel like that's enough room for that plant to grow, then that's where I'm going to plant it, you know. So I can't wait to harvest all this stuff. It's going to be so amazing. Let me pop the rest of these onions in and I'll be right back. And there you have it growers I have popped in my onions this took like two minutes it's super quick you don't need to spend all your time doing it just pull a hole open stuff your onion in there and secure it at the base I'm about to do that the same way with this Swiss chard Voila. Now my sister chart is in, my onions are in, so my companion planting in this area is complete. <laughs> 